Take notes, son. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Welcome and good afternoon. Thank you. Hello. You can all sit down. Yeah. <laughs> <have a seat. laughs> we have come here today to celebrate the vow renewal of Stephanie and Mark. Stephanie and Martin would like to thank each and every one of you for being with them today. <laughs> they are so grateful to have you here. <laughs> Over 30 years ago, wow. 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 Stephanie and Martin started their she lives two together. Years old. <laughs> they met on a train one evening <laughs> when Martin worked up the courage to walk over to Stephanie, waving at him. <laughs> <laughs> he asked her out for a curry that night and they got to know each other yes. oh. they talked about their work and Stephanie said she was a jewelry designer in the city yeah. and that she would get pissed at work <laughs> Martin, fresh over from England misunderstood pissed as getting drunk <laughs> and said you get pissed at work <laughs> Steph said I get pissed all, all the, the time. time. <laughs> and here we are today, 30 years later. And they're still pissed. <laughs> A beautiful home, two children, successful careers, loads of memories and lots of love. When I was a kid, my Uncle Dick told me that one of the most important things in life is having love. Wow. But love is not only happiness, it's also the ability to endure. To endure the countless amounts of struggles, obstacles, failures, and losses together. It's having that one person by your side that loves you back to let you know, you know, everything's gonna be all right. It's also that person that pushes you and inspires you towards your goals, ambitions, and passions. I've always admired the relationship that Stephanie and Martin have because they found that balance and they know how to have a good time. <laughs> They've been on safaris in South Africa to ski trips in the French Alps, spent weekend getaways in Montauk and many long walks around the block. They've been able to pull off towing a jet ski with a sports car <laughs> and even made a dime necklace cool. They've dressed up as a thumb and a lighter for Halloween and they could throw a great party in their backyard. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! They've also brightened the lives of many people with multiple sclerosis by teaching them how to design jewelry and lead a soccer club in Dix Hills for aspiring young athletes. Stephanie and Martin are special and they're a couple I look up to and love. Stephanie and Martin raised David and Ben to become respectful young men because they're good parents and they value family. <laughs> <laughs> They've been by each other's side for the losses of our sister Dina, Martin's father David, our uncle Larry, our father Tommy, and many other dear friends and family members along the way. You two become closer together as life relentlessly changes. In the beginning, you likely dreamed about growing old together, but here you are. <laughs> this is a new chapter in your lives filled with wisdom, experience, and a seasoned mindset that you earned. Today is a celebration that represents the commitment to the good times and bad that you both vowed to each other 30 years ago. To renew these vows, is a testament to your love for one another and an even stronger bond going forward. The symbolic vows you're about to make are another way of saying to one another, have I told you lately that I love you? Aww. Aww. What a nice. Have I told you there's no one else above you? You fill my heart with gladness, take away all my sadness. 
He's my troubles. That's what you do. All right. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. And later today, close your eyes and think back about how it all started and where you've come. Shortly, you'll say a few words to one another that will remind you of how truly fortunate you are to have a best friend. For after today, you'll say to yourselves again quietly, this is my husband, this is my wife. Martin, you may now say your vows, and then Stephanie. So, Stephanie, 37 years ago on this date at uh, 910, we met on the Long Island Railroad train. Many of the people here have heard the romantic story of how we met, so I won't bore you with it again, but I will gladly repeat it later to anyone that wants to meet me up at the bar and uh, hear it again. The point here is that uh, 37 years ago, I became the luckiest guy on this planet. I met Second you, luckiest. the love of my life, best friend, and my soulmate. What has made this union so special and last is that we've always supported each other in all of our extra activities. Stephanie, with you and your karate, your jewelry businesses, your volunteer work with UCP, and now your new work passion that's kept you so busy that it just proves how, when you are committed to something, it's always 100%. A perfect example is, hey, let's get married again and have a small gathering. <laughs> Wallop, here we are, a small gathering. <laughs> I have my fair share of extra activities with soccer stuff, coaching, refereeing, running a soccer club, and you've never complained. Well, not too much. <laughs> we've always been very lucky that we've had many joint passions, like skiing, traveling, eating, <laughs> and we've always had fun together. Very memorable trips to England, South Africa, Italy, just to name a few. We've had 37 years of love and adventures, and 30 years of wedded bliss. So today, in front of our closest friends and family, I vow to love and cherish you, Stephanie, for the rest, for the rest of my life. Amen. Amen. It's the past 30 years of marriage. Um, so, Stephanie, um, as, a, as a sign of my love, I'd like to give you this necklace. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Jump in the gun. All right. Next Okay, Stephanie. Martin has always had really, really long speeches. <laughs> and I have to tell you, mine's long. <laughs> and I couldn't remember it. I'm so sorry. That was awesome, Donald. <laughs> and I have to wear my ugly glasses. I'm so sorry. I can't find my other ones. But, Martin, some simple things that I love about you. Wow. I love our passing hugs and kisses. I love holding hands whenever. I love our 100 I love you a, love a day. I'm always thankful for your encouragement and support with everything I do. You never complain about my late nights, my many jobs and interests. A couple of good friends told me I, I wouldn't be me if I wasn't doing a bunch of things all at once. <laughs> so to tell you the truth, I couldn't do half the things without you. Over the years, you've always been there to help root me on and make things easier for me. From the JDPN stuffing envelopes back in the day and me with all the board meetings, Shop NBC and me flying to Minnesota and clearing the driveway in the middle of the night so that the car can come and get me. Um, or coming to every single karate test over 25 years Ooh. and taking videos and helping me set up my jewelry business and putting up tents at three at 7.30 in the morning and coming back and taking them down. Now my new career, oh, let's not forget about all the stops to the jewelry place to pick up all of my pieces. You're just always there for me. And you're the most efficient person I know. You make everything seem so effortless. But truly, our relationship works best because we are a team. We always seem to work together make decisions together and agree on most things. <laughs> Thanks for making my friends your friends. 
I think it's so wonderful how you entertain with me when my karate or work friends come over and you enjoy bowling with my, my fine lawn pals. I'm so lucky to have you. <clears throat> Watching you become a father made me love you all over again. When we had David and Ben, you stepped into fatherhood like you were waiting your whole life. You always show so much love, compassion, and support. You are their daddy, coach, role model. You never miss a soccer game, music recital, or a birthday party. <laughs> you are always there for them, offering advice, listening to their problems, both big and small, and never cramping their style with suggestions. <laughs> Even recently, getting a call at 3 a.m. in the morning when Ben was robbed in downtown Atlanta, oh. or David getting into a car accident in, in Oklahoma City. You stepped into action calmly, helped with the situation, while I screamed inside. <laughs> we do have different parenting styles and different methods and I'm sure David and Ben would say I'm more of the annoying parent. I don't remember a single time you raised your voice. You know I call you the Ben Whisperer. <laughs> but again, it's a good balance. And we both always hoped they would learn from their choices. And I think they turned out pretty good. I love my family is your family. My parents, lo my parents loved you from the start. My dad so much he wanted me to live with you, <laughs> to be safe. But as Mrs. Carminati would know, I moved in with her instead. <laughs> My landlady, GCL. <laughs> You're, you have the utmost respect for my dad and loved him like he was your own. Now that he's gone, and you're always there to be my mom's IT guy, <laughs> his, her fix-it man, or her ice cream and wine partner. <laughs> I love how you ask me, how's your mom today? I'm sure my mom would agree that you're the best son-in-law ever. I'm so glad I got to meet your dad, and I wish I could have met your mom. From what I can tell, you got your dad's charm and your mom's compassion. I love your family and truly wish they could be here today. As far as Donald goes, I'm sorry, this is really long. <laughs> you all came for this. <laughs> You've been a huge part of his life. From being there the day he was born to teaching him to ride a bike and taking him with us skiing on ski trips. And he was our ring bearer at our wedding 30 years ago. <laughs> and today, he's marrying us again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure Don would agree. He's got the best, he said, you are his best brother-in-law ever. Oh, I can't leave that drinking partner. <laughs> Martin, thank you for always letting me be me. Never showing jealousy or holding me back, only encouraging me and pushing me forward. I, I look forward to our next 30 years, mm -hmm. sitting in the corner of the yard with you to catch the last 10 minutes of sun, our walks together, sharing the office, our short getaway trips out east, the way you still make me laugh, you dance with me at weddings, we have coffee together whenever possible, and fireside evenings, and the list goes on. Martin, if it weren't for you, I would be living in piles all over the house <laughs> and in the dark because I wouldn't know how to recharge the blinds. <laughs> thank you for putting up with my gazillion wall color samples. And thank you for helping me choose all the throw pillows throughout the years. <laughs> you must think I'm nuts sometimes. <laughs> I think you're handsome mostly understanding, <laughs> unselfish, generous, thoughtful, and my best friend. Not to sound cliche, but you are my soulmate. 37 years ago on that 910 train, the very next night, we were so lucky to have found each other again. I love our passing hugs and kisses. 
I love our holding hands whenever. And I love our 100 I love you today. I'm excited to give our vows another life. I'd say yes 100 times. Martin Darling, have I told you lately? <laughs> <laughs> Do we have the ring and necklace? <laughs> <laughs> Let these gifts serve as a reminder of your story and that you'll forever be by each other's side. Martin, please place the necklace on Stephanie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I want one. <laughs> Go online. <laughs> you know someone in the business. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Now, Martin, please repeat after me. This necklace is my gift to you. This necklace is my gift to you. May it remind you that I love you. May remind you that I love you. Today, tomorrow, and always. Today, tomorrow, and always. Stephanie, please place the ring on Martin's finger. <laughs> now repeat after me. Spit on it. Spit on it. <laughs> this ring is my gift to you. This ring is my gift to you. May it remind you that I love you. May it remind you that I love you. Today, tomorrow, and always. Today, tomorrow, and always. Now may you live in love all your days. An amazing day. Surrounded by friends and family, your children by your side, and the ones we miss always in our hearts. May the happiness you share today be with you all the time. And may every word you have pledged here be a living truth in your lives. Jerry Seinfeld once said, <laughs> marriage is like a game of chess, except the board is flowing water, the pieces are made of smoke, and no move you make will have any effect on the outcome. <laughs> now my noteworthy advice from a married man of almost three years. <laughs> is to just keep doing what you're doing. And when things get tough, just get pissed. <laughs> by the power invested in me by the Universal Life Church, <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. Marty, you may kiss your wife. <laughs> Everyone, please raise their glasses. May I reintroduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Target.